Scientists use many sophisticated instruments to measure the dimensions of objects that are too small to see. But one of their simplest tools are X-rays. Because X-rays have wavelengths similar to the width of single atoms in a protein molecule, they can be used to illuminate the protein and generate a diffraction pattern. A protein sample will deflect or bend an X-ray beam around itself to create a projected pattern that reveals its inner structure and dimensions. Scientists can then calculate the precise size and characteristics of the protein by measuring its image. This experiment will demonstrate the diffraction technique, typically used with an X-ray beam to measure tiny objects down to the nanoscale. We use a simple laser beam to measure the diameter of a human hair. The equipment required for part A, an industrial laser, a slide holder with a single strand of human hair, a whiteboard or a sheet of white cardboard, a tape measure and a ruler, sticky tape. The equipment required for part B, a laser pen, two retort stands with boss heads and clamps, a single strand of human hair, a whiteboard or a sheet of white cardboard, a tape measure and a ruler, sticky tape. The experiment is in two parts. We use one technique but two different sets of equipment to project a red laser beam past a single strand of human hair suspended in a slide frame. You will see the hair diffracting the light in a scattered pattern on an adjacent screen. We will then use a measuring tape and a ruler to calculate the diameter of the hair. We start with our red laser source, using an industrial laser. We'll also need a human hair to suspend between the clamps in this slide frame, using household sticky tape. We've set up a whiteboard directly in front of the laser source, at least 1.2 meters from the position of the suspended hair to receive the diffracted image. When we're ready, we dim the lights and turn on the laser source. Note this bright spot on the hair. This confirms the optimum position for making our measurements. You'll see the result as the hair scatters the laser beam around itself. A distinct diffraction pattern projected onto the adjacent screen. That's how we do it. So, where do we go from here to find out the diameter of the hair? It's really just simple physics. First, we measure the distance from the suspended hair to the whiteboard in centimetres. Then, we measure the distance between two adjacent bright spots. That is the two bright spots here, also measured in centimetres. Here is the setup. Once we have taken some measurements, the formula allows us to calculate the diameter. D is the distance between two bright parts in the diffraction pattern. L is the distance from the hair to the screen and lambda is the wavelength of the laser beam. All units must be converted to meters. Let's put some values into the formula. If D is 2 centimeters and L is 120 centimeters and lambda is 633 nanometers, the diameter of the human hair is approximately 40 micrometers. We can do this calculation just as effectively using a laser pen. We lock down the clamp holding the pen to ensure a continuous light source. We then follow the same procedures we used with the industrial unit. We suspend the hair in the same way, ensure the distance between the hair and the diffraction surface is at least 1.2 meters and calculate the diameter of the hair. We have just demonstrated how to measure the diameter of a human hair by using a simple diffraction pattern. Although our object is a human hair that is visible, 
The experiment illustrates some of the principles used to measure objects on the nanoscale.